Well, the other big story we're following tonight, a case goes cold in Baltimore City. It has been nearly one year since a young man weeks away from graduation at Morgan State University was killed in his car after leaving a friend's house. WJZ is live tonight. Rachel Carden outside of city police headquarters with the renewed efforts to bring this family justice. Rachel. That's right, Rick, and these are the flyers that Baltimore City Police were putting on people's cars, shoving them into mailboxes, and leaving them on doors on Mary Avenue. That's over in northeast Baltimore. This is nearly a year after Kavon Dix was killed there, and his family is still seeking answers. Leave a flyer at every apartment, every house. Detectives trying to track down leads on who killed Kavon Dix. Some people is almost a year to me. Is yesterday. His mother, Annette, says her 21 year old son was going to be famous. The Morgan State senior was a music major with a dream to sing on Broadway. He had a limit to how long he could sing in the house 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. because everything was a song, even if it was what, what are we going to have for dinner? It was always a song. The last phone call Annette had with her son was on April 24th of last year. Telling him, okay, your brother's getting ready to come to Morgan. You have to get him acclimated with everything before you leave. Kayvon was shot that night while sitting in his car at the corner of Bertram and Mary Avenues. It happened just feet from a playground. This was all weeks before graduation. His mother's mission is to make sure people remember Kayvon for his life story, not just the last chapter. Kayvon Dix was an amazing young man, not just because he was my young man, but because he built that legacy for himself. As detectives post tip lines to call and text, a broken-hearted mother tries to believe this crime won't go unpunished. You have to get some of these crimes solved. You have to, because for every one that you don't solve, there's another person saying, I can go out here and commit one and get away with it, too. Police are still asking the public to help them solve this crime. You can always call 1-866-7-LOCKUP and remain anonymous. They also have a tip line you can text, or you can call homicide detectives directly at 410-396-2100. We're live outside of Baltimore City Police Headquarters. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.